Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, consider tapping the subscribe button. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Hey y'all! <laughs> I know, it has been a minute since I have done that intro or seen any of you. I have been off of YouTube for officially two months, which is kind of crazy. I never thought I would say that, but I'm back and I just wanted to explain my absence, talk about a few things, and I will tell you about this hair towards the end. So please stick around. And I know if you're new, you're probably like, what are you even talking about? Just, just come sit for a little second. So the last time I made a video, I was in the midst of is that your hair holiday and things were going really great and went on vacation right afterwards for my birthday. I had a bomb ass time. It was wonderful. I returned home in January and that's when things kind of took a turn for me. I definitely understand now why content creators talk about feeling burnout because I was definitely feeling it by the end of the year it was pretty real and i thought that my vacation would alleviate all of that feeling but when i came back i, I kind of just felt like i don't know i went back into the mode of working i am a teacher and i had realized last year that you know i was ready to transition out the classroom and i had been thinking about some things surrounding that but i just wasn't sure what would happen next and I just started thinking about like what I wanted is that your hair to be in the next few months to the next year I was trying to think of ways I wanted to take my content to a different level and y'all know that I love hair hello is that your hair <laughs> I love doing this, but I just also wanted to try other things. On Instagram, I talked about starting a travel Instagram page because a lot of you know that I enjoy traveling, especially with C. I told people about it, but I still haven't decided upon a name. So definitely, if you wanna know more about that, or if you wanna just follow me on Instagram, check me out at is that your hair with three R's. So yeah, I talked about that. I also wanna start a blog. I finally created a website so I can have a wig sale so details on that will be coming in March but yeah I just had all these different ideas and honestly I was just feeling unmotivated and normally I pride myself on being able to you know work through anything but this is a little bit different I also I'm sure you guys noticed the visuals look a little different <laughs> your girls looking a little cool but yes, I did buy a camera in January that had me super excited to record. I bought a microphone as well that I'm not using right now because I cannot find it. So this is what the camera sounds like. Just like this is the sound from the camera. But I will link my new equipment in the description box in case you are interested. So even that wasn't helping. And part of me is like, is this like some type of winter depression? Like what's going on? Because your girl was just... Teaching, going on the couch, waking back up again. Teaching, back on the couch, eating, sleeping. You know what I mean? It just was like this weird routine that I was not used to because I'm used to YouTube being a big part of my life. So February came and I was like, okay, bet. I'm gonna come back on, bet. And I just wasn't ready. However, a content creator I know, Life with Key Rose, she was hosting this Instagram Reels challenge. And I didn't want to get back on Reels. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use this challenge to help you know, this helped me get back in the groove of creating content because I just was feeling very uninspired. Even though I had planned out my January and February, I planned out the videos I wanted to do, I don't know. I just, my head wasn't in it. So, I've been doing the Rose Challenge, it's almost over, and I've been really enjoying myself because I'm, I'm a creative by nature, so being able to like tap into different um, trends and whatnot and just display information in a different way has been very, really, really fun for me. And a lot of you have seemed to enjoy that, especially when I do reels that center around content creation tips and the like. I just realized that I have been looking up. Oh my God, I've been looking up the whole time. I'm gonna have to record this over again. Ugh. Let me see how it looks. 
All right, y'all, I'm back. I look at the footage, it's not bad, I'm keeping it. Yeah, so I was feeling unmotivated, feeling a little bit inspired until I got back on Instagram, did the Reels Challenge. I've been feeling really good about that. It's just so interesting how habits work because you can be so consistent. Like, y'all know I've been posting two or three times a week for the past two years, right? And that's how I built up this platform. But as soon as you take off one week, two weeks, and in my case, I took off three weeks, easily, easily. <laughs> It easily turned into a month and then now we're here at two months. I just I just thought I would do better than that. I don't know. I'm actually a little disappointed in myself. And I know some of you will be in the comments and say, no Gladys, don't be so hard on yourself. Look, I, I know. I, <laughs> I expect a lot from me, especially when it comes to YouTube. It's my baby. This channel is like my pride and joy so i'm not really happy with the fact that i took this much time away but you know c is my girlfriend right she just reminded me like girl you bust your ass doing this like you definitely just needed a break and you need to listen to your body which is funny because that's things that i tell her so i listened to my body i listened to my mind and i really took some time away and it was weird coming back because i wasn't watching people's videos for a while and i started watching people's videos but then i felt weird about like being fully active because i didn't want people asking me questions <laughs> i didn't want to be in people's premieres people are like yo girl you haven't posted in like a month where you at because <laughs> people started asking me on my page and i'm like oh my god <laughs> And then they'll see me on Instagram like, oh, this is where you at now? Like, are you coming back? I, I just felt really weird about being out and about on YouTube, but I, I'm not really feeling that way anymore. Because I knew I was coming back. You know what I mean? I knew. Also, I have to give a huge shout out to Google search. <laughs> because even though I've been gone for two months, somehow, some way, 2,000 more people found me and subscribed to Is That Your Hair? So that's just such a blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And on top of that, another thing that was really bothering me is just feeling like there's so much back and forth when it comes to negotiating with different brands, different companies, and it gets so freaking tiring, y'all. I can't even begin to explain it. You know when you are putting out good work, a good product, and it just, you know, sometimes it can hurt when people don't appreciate that or they try to tell you something that you're not, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I've definitely had companies try to tell me like, oh, your rate is for someone with over 100,000 subscribers, not for someone who's at 20,000 subscribers. Like, what? F you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, this is what you tell people? Oh my God. But you just have to have thick skin and you have to have faith. I noticed that some of those same companies have been coming back around. I just hope that they are ready. That's it, that's all. I don't want to make this too long, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm much better now. I'm in a much better mental space. And your girl's gonna go back to therapy too because I just feel like I need to continue sorting things out and working on myself. And therapy is just the place to do it. You feel me? I'm a huge advocate for that. And I have a few goals this year. As far as is that your hair? I mean, 100,000 subscribers is always the goal. Like every year it's just like, hey, because you never know, you might have a video that propels you there. You just never know if something pops up. So that's always a goal. Of course, I want to continue my schedule of posting two to two to three times a week, preferably three. I also want to start going live one to two times a month, particularly during Small Talk Saturday. And that's another thing. I have these visions for Small Talk Saturday. I just don't know how to properly execute it, which is why I became inconsistent with it towards the end of 2020. But I would like to rectify that in 2021. And I want it to be like Girl Talk, where I'm basically doing my hair and we're chit-chatting about different things. Kind of like a get ready with me, but without like the makeup because I don't really enjoy makeup enough to like want to like get ready with it. I don't know if that makes sense, but I just have a lot more fun showcasing wigs. <laughs> so I might do something like that for Small Talk Saturday. But yeah, y'all, I just feel like I've been going through this weird transformational period and it's a little bit daunting, a little scary, but I feel like this is what happens when you're on the precipice of something great something greater, something probably beyond your vision. I had the same feeling last year, a similar feeling, just not as bad as this time. I had the similar feeling last year in July where I felt like things were slowing down on my channel and then literally a month later, I had videos that started popping off. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe this is something similar again where I'm having this 
weird existential crisis and then something greater is on the horizon so it's just reminding me that i need to continue to propel forward and of course y'all keep me coming back because we just have a, such a good time here on is that your hair and i appreciate y'all keeping up with me on my community tab y'all have been very active on there because i don't want to completely ghost y'all <laughs> so i have been active on instagram and i've been posting more on my community tab and on my youtube stories also you will see me posting youtube shorts if you're not familiar with youtube shorts that is just short form content similar to what Instagram is doing with Reels and similar to what TikTok does. YouTube Shorts is like a new thing. I'll actually be repurposing content from Instagram to YouTube for that reason. That's pretty much what's been up with me. Honestly, it's nothing like end of the world or anything. I just feel like I've been going through the motions and maybe it's like a seasonal depression. I don't know, but I hate winter. I feel so... I just don't feel my best during the winter. But as soon as spring comes, warmer weather, I'm like, woohoo! Back at you! <laughs> so I think that's what it is. Honestly, I felt kind of bad because I'm like, yo, Gladys, you should be so grateful. You still have a job, you still have your health, you still have your family, you have your girlfriend, you have friends. Like, get it the fuck together. I know that doesn't sound like the nicest thing to say to yourself, but after a while, that's kind of like what I was saying to myself. <laughs> So yeah, y'all, I'm excited about what 2021 is going to bring. Now, I know if you are still here, you want to know about this hair. Y'all, this is by Altre, and y'all already know that Altre has been killing the game, especially with their Melted Hairline series. This is Miss Jenny in the color 1B, and she is gorgeous. I really have no complaints about this wig. I love the texture. It's very much like a yakky texture. Reminds me of a silk press almost kinky straight but more on the silk press side but as it gets older it's going to feel thicker and this is very thick but it's a nice density i love the style of this unit and i love the way it looks to the side i mean it looks good in the middle but side part gang okay also have y'all heard about tiktok like generation z saying side parts are like not in style who came up with that so yes i love it one thing i also like about the melted hairline series is the lace my god the lace melts so nicely into my skin. I literally applied my um, CoverGirl foundation along the hairline and it melted so nicely. I didn't use any glue. So this is glueless right now. So let me get up here and show y'all. Like it's glueless, you see? It's flapping. So if you're going outside, you, you're gonna wanna glue this down. But I... <laughs> It looks so good! It looks so good! I posted a reel too and y'all were like, girl, what hair is that? It's coming, I got you. And I also like that this unit is big head friendly. And if you have a hairline that comes out more, this hairline is definitely for you because it will cover those edges very well. That's one thing I've noticed about the Melted Hairline series too. Their ear to ear is truly ear to ear and it has a nice contour that will frame. Now the reason why this is like this is because I tilted it to the side. This is supposed to be in the middle. But yeah, y'all, Jenny is a vibe. Oh my goodness. She is so pretty. She's definitely a new everyday wig. Highly recommend her. I know I don't normally rate my wigs, but to me, she's a 10. Now, I know I didn't apply this wig for y'all, but I have tons of videos doing that. If you are new here, please check out my description box. I have a slew of playlists. I have a wig 101 playlist in particular that showcases a lot of my tips I've used to make my wigs look natural. So definitely, definitely check that out. In this video, I really just more so wanted to focus on what's been going on with me, give y'all a little update. So y'all aren't like lost in the sauce because I really care about y'all. I rock with y'all. I love y'all. And I just feel like y'all deserve to know what's been going on with me. So if you are new here, make sure you tap the subscribe button, share this video, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm very happy to be back on YouTube. Next time I come on camera, I will have my audio set up because I really want it to sound super crisp and clear like your girl's on a podcast. <laughs> Let me know what you think about my new camera because from what I can tell in the viewfinder, it's on and popping. I'm so excited. So, so excited. And shout outs to the YouTuber Kalechi because she is one of the main people that helped me decide on this camera. It was either between the Canon M50 or the one I have now, the M6 Mark II. Out of all the videos I watched 
on the M6. She's the one that really like convinced me that's what I needed to do. That's what I need to go for. And also I have the Sigma lens um, 1.4. It'll be linked down below. I feel like I look so official right now. I haven't even fixed all of my camera settings yet. Like right now, I know the white balance is off. Ugh, and it's annoying me, but it's okay. I didn't want to wait any longer to get this video out. I just really wanted to talk to you all. So yeah, make sure your notifications on. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm on there every single day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Hopefully by next week. I need to find my mic. But yeah, love y'all. Bye.